Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. Let's talk about Diablo 4 early game. Okay. Got my handy dandy clipboard right here. Got my notes. Got my handy dandy barbarian. You see I've got a lot of alts. I'm an altaholic. Let's get stuck in and talk about Diablo 4 early game and what you should be looking out for. Now when I say early game, I'm talking about finishing the main story. Uh, approximately in your 40s. Yes, that's early game. <laughs> finishing the main campaign puts you into what everyone considers mid game. Okay. Uh, coffee. Okay. Tip number one. And I think this is the most important one. Get your horse. Get your horse. Okay. I think the safest plan, the safest approach for getting your horse is to wait till you're level 20. And then you just push the main story. Okay. So I, I won't do spoilers, but the main story will take you, I mean, this is a little spoiler, but I mean, it's right there on the map. You come up here to Skazaglen, do some, do some running around. It's quite good. It's excellent. I think the main story is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so come up here and do the Skazaglen stuff. And if you start at 20, Skazaglen should push you to 25, right? And then you go to Dry Steps and push that. Okay, and that should push you to 30, I would say. That would be my guess. And then you want to push it to early Act 4, like the very beginning of Act 4. You don't have to go any further, but early Act 4 will get you your horse. I recommend that. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, finish side quests in Fractured Peaks. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't finish Renown, any of that. I would focus on getting my horse because it makes a huge difference, guys. I mean, it is night and day getting this horse. Now, once you get the horse, come be bopping over here to the old stable master, and you can pick one of the mounts you have available, select your armors you have available, and trophies. Okay. And I just got this iron reliquary. Okay. Now, so, <clears throat> also at 25, you want about, yeah, about level 25, go do your class quest. If you can do it earlier, that's fine. Uh, some of the class quests are, uh, the, the barbarian class quest is all the way over here. And it can be kind of a pain in the butt to try to finish this um, uh, at lower level, because... I'm not sure what these zone minimum levels are, because Diablo 4 auto-levels the zone to your level within reason. There's usually a minimum, okay? So just keep an eye out on for that. If you're 15 and you're trying to get through a level 25 zone, you know, you could die. So, whatever. Okay, so... Once you get the horse, you need to understand how the horse works, okay? The horse has a sprint. Not only is this a sprint, it also allows you to move through mobs, okay? So, because this game just loves to block your, your progress. Let me see if I can... Look at these levels. So if you hit sprint, and you see, it pushes them aside, okay? And then the, the sprint goes back on a cooldown timer. Okay. I gotta warn you, the horse is kind of janky. It gets stuck on corners and stuff. So kind of watch out for that. Okay. So use your sprint with your horse. Okay. Now, once you got your horse, you've done your class quest. Now, prioritize the main quest and renown gains. And I say that because... This, there's lots of really juicy 
bonuses in here. So make sure you're picking these up. Make sure you're getting all the, the altars of Lilith. Um, I would do dungeons that have quests in them or dungeons that have affixes you want. If if it doesn't meet those those criterion, skip it. Save it for later because you'll you'll be sent into other dungeons later by the game. Okay. Okay. So another big question that a lot of players are going to ask is what to do with loot. Should I sell it? Should I break it down? Early game, uh, well, when when you're just starting. Okay, let's, let's say you haven't got your horse yet. Salvage all of it. But later, let's say 25 plus, you're going to want to alternate between selling it to vendors and breaking it down with the blacksmith. Okay, you can salvage it with the blacksmith. I would alternate back and forth between... Now, grays and blues, I always break down because they don't sell that well. But rares, yellows... I alternate between selling and salvaging. Legendaries, legendaries always get either salvaged or I, or I'll, I mean, I use them, salvage them, or extract the the affix over at the at the um, what's this guy called? What's his name? Occultist. Excuse me. Okay, yeah, come over here and ex and um, watch your your aspect pack space here. This will fill up. You can move these aspects into your bank. Okay, I have I have some some bank slot categories where I like you know I'm 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 a barb and I'm I'm hardcore Hoda. I really like Hoda, but I know Whirlwind is the meta, and so I've been putting together uh, Whirlwind stuff in this little section for myself. And then this is just some probably need to break these down or sell them or something. They don't. I don't think those are that useful anymore. Okay. Okay. Another thing that you might notice out, out and about the world. This might be more of a mid-game tip. I'm not sure. You will eventually start facing mobs with damage resistance. They'll become very common. They'll have a little shield under their, under their name. They're a pain in the butt. But they're getting a buff from one of the mobs has a damage resist um, aura. You need to prioritize killing the one with the aura. Okay. Another early game tip I would strongly recommend you have a build. There's lots of places online. I have some barbarian builds. I don't I, I haven't played the other classes enough to um, to give any any kind of advice on the other classes. But have a build, seriously. And I think the most important tip is to have fun. There's lots to do. Um, you, you can quest, you can explore, you can work on your renown, you can run dungeons, you can do... Uh, you can't do Tree of Whispers yet. But have fun. If what you're doing isn't fun, stop it and do something else. If the class you're playing isn't fun, stop it and re-roll something else. Life's too short to force yourself into uh, play playing a class you don't like or doing an activity you don't, you don't like. Okay? That's it, guys. That's my early game tips and tricks. And uh, I'll start working on a mid-game tips and tricks. Uh, start jotting down notes and think about what I want to say. Okay, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Have fun playing Diablo 4.